What a dooski son doulas. It's your boy Five Gem Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. So I just got done watching the Xbox, you know, reveal, the revealing of the new Xbox. And I must say, you know, it was pretty cool, you know. I'm not like some of these fucking Xbox haters, PS3 haters and shit like that who just going to hate on the system just because they can do it. You know, me personally, I love the PS PlayStation. I love Xbox, damn it, at the end of the day. I'm not really a Nintendo fan, but I'm going to just talk about what I like, you know. I pretty much like the whole concept of what's going on with Xbox, you know. I love having an entertainment box. I mean, you know, people, they want to see new shit, right? So why not embrace the new shit that Xbox brings? Why wouldn't you want to have an entertainment value type system? You know, you have everything wrapped in one. I mean, me personally, I think that's for, I think that's cool. I don't know about some of you other people, but I think it's real cool. Um, now the name of the Xbox, Xbox One. Now the name is it's it's okay. You know, it's okay. I actually like Xbox 720 better. That Durango shit. Nah, I wasn't feeling that. But Xbox 720 sounded a little bit better. But now after seeing what's going on and they're actually getting towards the future of the system in gaming, I understand the name Xbox One because they have so much going on in the system. You know, it's basically everything in one from games to TV to entertainment, um, internet browsing, Skype, you know, more stuff like Connect. It's everything in one. So I can kind of understand, you know, the concept behind the name. Now, what I thought was fucking hilarious to me was, to be honest with you, maybe I have to see some more pictures of it, or maybe I have to see it in person. But that goddamn system looked big as fuck to me. It looked, you, you remember how the first Xbox looked? That shit looked probably bigger than that. It looked like a goddamn DVD slash VCR combo. You know that, that shit used to be back in the day, when you got your goddamn DVD player on one side and your VHS player on one side? That's what that shit looked like, a big ass combination of that shit but I don't know maybe I have to see it in person maybe it's not that big but to me just seeing it it looked big now I know a lot of people they probably didn't even think they was going to show their system I didn't know they was going to show their system either but they showed it I'm, I'm glad they showed it you know cool the controller the controller looked cool I actually like the I actually like the Xbox 360 controller you know I, I felt like they kind of should have kept the same to be honest with you but supposedly it's supposed to be different um you know different um a different type of D-pad, a different right and left stick, you know, is supposed to be better, and that's cool. I understand. Now, Xbox, they have, um, you know, they have cloud powered, of course. I mean, if you don't know what that is, go check it out, because I'm not about to get into details about everything, okay? Now, one thing I do like is the voice recognition. You know, it's instant. You get your system instant on. You don't have to wait no load time. You know how you know you gotta sign in and all that stuff. Because I'm guessing when you get your system, um, you you know you put all your information in, and you you probably have to say something, and then it saves it, lock all your information in there, so that you can just say Xbox on, and it recognizes your voices, and the Xbox come on. I think that's pretty dope. You know, you that that is pretty dope to me. Fuck what you guys say. It's, it's basically a simple command. It's very fast to switch from um, different apps, movies, music, internet, all kind of stuff. So, like, you can say Xbox movie, and it'll go to the movie. Xbox TV, and it'll go to the TV. Xbox um, internet, and it'll go to the internet. You can just, it just goes quickly and smooth. So, I think that was pretty dope how they how they doing that. Um, instead of you having to take control and actually... You know, go through all that stuff. You can just say it and it act fast. Simple commands, pretty much. Um, the snap mode, I think that's going to be pretty dope to me. I think it's going to be pretty dope. You know, you can do various things while you're, you know, without closing any apps and stuff like that. So, like, I can be watching a movie or whatever, and then I can say Xbox. I can pull something else up in, in the corner on the side of it and be doing other things. Why I got my movie going or TV show going or whatever the case may be, whatever you have going on, I think that's pretty dope. Um, also, I like the Skype with the Snap mode. I love that, you know, because you can could basically. I'm gonna just use the 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 TV reference or movie reference. If I'm watching a movie, I can have my friend call me or I can call him and he can jump in. But while he's jumping in, his 
picture and stuff and video, you know, of him, whatever he's doing, wherever he's at, is going to be up there while my movie is still going. So we could be talking about the movie or talking about anything, but my movie will still be going. I will see him on the screen doing what he, whatever he's doing or whatever, you know, he's talking about. I think that's pretty dope, man. I think it's pretty dope. And, um, you know, I love the, the new thing. See, me, I'm a sports dude, so this is why I love this shit. I love the ESPN um, fantasy tracker thing that they're having in there. So basically, if I'm... Um, Let's just say, for instance, I'm watching a basketball game on TV or whatever, on the TV um, app or whatever. And let's say I can pull up, basically, ESPN Fantasy Tracker. I can be watching the game, but then I also pull up the fantasy stats of my player, of the players or whatever that I you know, I have in the fantasy. So, like, for instance, LeBron James. I can pull up his fantasy stuff and his numbers will pop up. Um, you can also see the standings of teams, um, stats highlights all on the side while you're still watching live TV and I think that's pretty dope and you can also do this with um, the NFL because you know Microsoft is with NFL so that's, that's going to basically incorporate the same thing and I think that's going to be pretty dope for you for the sports fans out there like me now you other motherfuckers who don't care about sports fuck you because it ain't going to concern you so I know y'all going to hate like oh this is stupid this is stupid I know some of you goddamn YouTubers are going to talk shit about it and I, I I should say some names, but you y'all you know who the fuck y'all are. Um, but I think it's pretty dope because you know I, I I'm I'm actually a fantasy player. You know I, I'm into the fantasy stuff, and I just it's just cool. It's just cool. Something nice to have. You know I can be watching the game, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, whoever the case may be for the NBA. Fantasy stuff can pop up, stats, all that stuff. Same for NFL. Fantasy stuff can pop up in the corner. Cool. I love that. Um. Now, also, you know, they have the Xbox One guide. Pretty much to sum this up, it's basically like a TV guide. Pretty much, you know, you can just say, like, you can give it certain commands and it'll say Xbox, Xbox One guide, um, ESPN. They go to ESPN, Xbox. You can know, just go to different channels. Just say a channel and they go to that channel. And you can, this other stuff you can do also. That's pretty dope. Now, the hardware, I didn't quite catch everything. But, you know, I'm going to just go from what I heard. 8 gigabytes of RAM, um, US, USB 3.0, that's pretty dope. Um, Blu-ray, you know, um, connect upgrade, pretty much connect upgrade. Smart glass upgrade. Um, new Xbox Live got a nice upgrade, you know, over 300 service providers. Um, and they have um, a game like DVR, that's pretty dope, better matchmaking. You know, better matchmaking system, I guess, when you're online and stuff like that. Um, you know, but you can have that matchmaking system going while you're doing other things on the system. Now, also, they got into the EA Sports. They got this new Ignite engine, you know, true player motion, human intelligence. I'm pretty sure they're going to get more in-depth with that uh, at E3. They're probably going to get in-depth with a lot of more other stuff at E3. I'm pretty sure they will. But, uh, of course, they talked about Forza. I don't really give a fuck about that. Now this quantum break that looks pretty cool. Look like that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, now this is one thing that people was always talking about with Xbox. They don't have a lot of exclusives. They don't have enough exclusives. PS3 had a better exclusives. Yada 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 yada. Okay, that's fine. Well now Xbox is gonna have 15 exclusives, eight brand new franchises. So that's gonna be interesting to see what the exclusives are gonna be. So I'm looking forward to um, E3 to see what's gonna happen with that. And then like I said before, you know. They had the NFL Network Fantasy slash Skype thing going on. That's going to be pretty dope, pretty in depth um, with 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 the NFL Network. And also, by the way, this NFL Network Fantasy stuff and the NBA Fantasy stuff is all live. It's going to be live. It's all live. You know, live updates and stuff like that. Now, E3, they're going to, of course, they're going to show more and talk more about the exclusive games and stuff like that. And I can't wait to see what they have to offer and show. Um, now, this guy, Eric Heisenberg from um, Infinity Ward, he came out pretty much talking about the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghost. And let me tell you something, the game looked it's, look like it's going to be pretty good. I always love Call of Duty games, you know, especially for the gameplay. I, I, I'm, I'm still new to multiplayer for real. I'm still getting better. You know, I'm not great at the multiplayer. You know, I'm, I'm pretty much ass. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm ass, you know. So if I was to play with you guys in Call of Duty, i get my ass busted. You know, I'm not the best. Fuck with me in sports, I whoop your ass. But anyway, um, 
you know, it's talking about, you know, a couple new features you can customize, just the, the, the soldiers and stuff like that. Um, the multiplayer, dynamic maps, you know, you know, more like a battlefield, destruct destructible items, buildings, you know, environments, stuff like that. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, graphics look way fucking better. Graphics look dope. So I'm just looking forward to see what, you know, what's in store for Xbox. Of course, I'm going to get an Xbox. I have an Xbox right now. I don't have a PS3. Not saying I'm not a fan of PS3, it's just when I got rid of my PS3 a long time ago, a couple of years, what, two, two and a half years ago, I just never got another one. I, I just didn't, you know, and I ended up getting an Xbox. It was cheaper. And I'm getting another Xbox. I love PlayStation. Don't get it twisted. I will be getting the PS4. I will be getting Xbox 360. So I'm not hating on either one system. I don't give a fuck if a lot of people feel like this shit was ass. This Xbox was real shit. To me, it was cool. I mean, Hey, it was cool to me. Um, I like what's going on with Xbox, and um, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, you know. Of course, I love the entertainment value on the Xbox. I love it. Like, why? Why? This is what people want. Next gen, future shit. They don't want no plain dull shit. Okay, so Xbox is giving you everything right in one. You so you won't have to go out and buy a fucking Blu-ray player, or you won't have to pretty much. Just say if you're living with somebody and, and, and you only got cable in one room or whatever the case may be, you know, you, you have this shit in your Xbox. You know, it's the entertainment, it's a gaming slash entertainment system. So now once people see what the exclusives is going to be and stuff like that, then they can probably shut the fuck up about Xbox don't have games. They can shut the fuck up because then they have it all. So, uh, yeah, man, you know, that's just my little input. This is my first time doing this, um, you know. But I figure since I do do the games, you know, I got to throw something up here. So, uh, overall, I, I like this Xbox reveal thing. It was pretty cool to me, you know. Um, for what they can show in like an hour, it was pretty cool. I didn't, like I said, they showed the system. System, I have to see. It should just look big to me, but I could be wrong. Uh, but you guys let me know what you thought about this, man. Was it good? Was it bad? Do you think my Xbox has something going on? Before um, you know, release release of the system. Um, I think they do. I mean, at the end of the day, you motherfuckers is going to you you motherfuckers who call yourself true gamers and shit like that. You motherfuckers is at the end of the day are going to buy the system. You're going to get the system. You're not going to get the system. So it really doesn't matter. I don't even know why a lot of you guys on here talk shit about Xbox or PS3, and you still going to fuck around and get the system. So just shut the fuck up. Enjoy the systems, enjoy the games for you quote unquote hardcore gamers. Listen, I'm not a hardcore gamer like I used to. I'm a casual fucking gamer. <laughs> I don't go hard playing video games like I used to. I just don't. I have too much other shit going on. Like I just don't. Like maybe, maybe with these new systems coming out, I can get back into that old spark that I used to have for video games. But until then, I can't really fuck with it. But anyway, man, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Facebook. Let me know what you th thought about it. Please check out my previous videos, especially all my NBA playoff coverage that I've been doing. Um, comment, subscribe, favorite, like. Go to deppip.com, livemixtapes.com, and download MGM Grand by CJ De Niro. And um, guys, um, for those who keep asking me about the, the, the name of the song in the intro, God damn it, I keep telling you guys. That's why I tell you to go download the mixtape, but it's Green Lights Go by my brother CJ De Niro. You can find the video, everything. Deuces. Oh, wait a minute. Deuces. <laughs>